So it's the beginning of the pilot season, and what's nobody's favourite TV critic doing? Oh, he's catching up on Netflix and Amazon shows because he has no concept of time management, whilst looking up the list of new American programmes and resisting the urge to commit the British equivalent of seppuku. Or, you know, just give up complaining about TV for no one's entertainment. Whichever one's easiest. For those of you wondering, the British equivalent of seppuku is where you fall on your own resignation letter in the hope of clawing back your credibility after dishonouring your country. Ha ha, out of date political jokes that fall apart upon any kind of inspection. Why not recommend this channel to your friends of low intelligence, or just your enemies? Anyway, wasn't I supposed to be doing like a review or something? Alright, so what's Bosch, apart from the noise Michael Caine makes when he comes? Well, that's simple. It's a police drama set around a grumpy old police officer who sometimes break the rules to find justice. Whoops, it seems I've accidentally left Luther running on my TV. Let me just change that. Oh, oh dear. I loved Luther, but while most people's first reaction would be, oh good, it's just like the thing I liked, my reaction for the first few episodes was annoyance at their lack of originality. You know, because I'm such a fun guy. Great to have at parties. It didn't help that there was what I could only describe as a metric shit ton of cliches to begin with, but after waiting a couple of episodes I noticed that it became pretty good. Still a bit naff, but whatever. After a little bit longer I became completely on board and was gripped entirely. One of my biggest problems to begin with was that Harry Bosch wasn't exactly a likeable protagonist. The show opens with him shooting a possibly unarmed non-white man, so for a while I didn't actually like the bloke. You know, because I'm on the side of common sense with all these real-world similar news stories. And if you don't know what the side of common sense is, hello Mr Trump, thank you for watching! The writers seem to be one step ahead of me though, because somehow I warmed to Harry Hotpoint. There isn't much to say about him as a character, but the story around him is certainly impressive. It definitely made me look like a right stupid twat, because like an arsehole I wrote down predictions right at the very beginning about possible plot twists, and thankfully none of them turned out to be true. And unlike a lot of other American dramas I've seen this year, the dialogue was written by someone who has at some point had a conversation with another human. That just shows how important good dialogue really is. I've made my annoyance at Shadowhunters very clear, but the problem really was when Ian Shadowhunter talked to her vampire friends or whatever, the whole thing played out like a Resident Evil cutscene, whereas when Harry Indesit talks to his police friends, it looks like real people having a real conversation. Groundbreaking stuff there, good work guys. Next week we're going to learn which way to point the camera and why paper is a good thing to put the script on. Bosch isn't a unique and imaginative thrill ride. It's something most of us will have seen before, but done properly. It's a great show. It's gripping, tense, every performer is marvellous, particularly James Nesbitt. He covered that Irish accent really well. So you really should try and see it. But is it worth the £80 a year Amazon subscription? Pfft, no.